form. Okay, this video is going to show you how to start a blogger profile. So when you start, <clears throat> first you, you will go to blogger.com and you will click here sign in. If this is the first time you've ever done blogger, this is where you're going to you will go. If this is not the first time that you've gone into Blogger, go ahead and just go to blogger.com and wait until uh, all the new people have signed in and set up their profile. So once you sign in for all the new people, you will then put in your password, just like right here. And once you put in your password, it's going to give you these two options. You're going to choose this one right here, create a limited Blogger profile. And then you're going to go put in your display name. So you're going to put just like almost like your email. So first name dot last name with your graduating year. But do not put at cojusd.org. Once you've put in your username, your, excuse me, your display name, click right here, continue to blogger. So once you, uh, it's going to take you to your dashboard and it's going to give a couple of these pop ups each time you're going to hit got it. And again, right here, you'll see this one that says got it. And once you've cleared out all, the, all those little pop-ups, you're going to click right here where it says create new blog. Now this is the tricky part. First part, it's easy. You're going to, you're going to title your blog for the, uh, for if you're going to be in Ms. Lewis's class, you knew one for ag, you would put your first name, last name, apostrophe yes, ag blog. And then right here, you're going to put in your, your address. Now this is, this can be this is the tricky part. You're going to take your whole address. You're going to smash it together. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase. You can't put any spaces, dots, or apostrophes. So you would type it like this, and you would add that right here. Now what's going to happen, once you type it in like that, it's going to suggest, it's going to add a suggestion here where it's going to put .blogspot.com. It's going to add that to your address. It does that to everyone's address. So you click on that one. <clears throat> and then what's going to happen, once you click on it, it'll say, it, either going to tell you if the address is available or not. If it's, it is available, you'll click Create Blog. If not, you'll have to add something to it to make it a unique name. Possibly someone with the same name has already uh, started a blog, so you may be after your last name, you put your graduating year, or 559, something to make it a an actual um, unique name. So... You have to change it until it says available. Once it says available, you hit create blog. Once you it's been accepted, it's gonna Google's gonna ask you to buy the domain name. Just hit no thanks. Now, now it's gonna take you to your dashboard. So if you are brand new to Blogger, you only have one blog already on you. This is your first blog. So you just click your new post. For the people who have already started this, you're going to come down here. You're going to click on your blog name on the same page, but then you're going to hit new blog, and then you're going to have to go back and do what everybody did on this page. So again, I'll review that really quick. For the people who, are, who have done Blogger before in a different class, you click on your blog name right here, and you're going to select new blog. And I'll say it one more time. Once you click new blog, you're going to go through this process again, titling your blog and then adding the address. So <clears throat> once everybody has, we'll start here. Once everybody has their blog set up, whether it's in, you're new to Blogger and you're starting your first, or you're going to create a new blog to your, add a new blog to your profile for this class. Once you've done all that, you click on new post. And new post, it's very easy. You start off with a title. Miss Lewis will give you a title to do a, a practice blog today. You do all your typing here. It's very much, very much similar to Google Docs. A lot of the same tools right here to add things like links and videos and images and change the font and center things, underline, all that kind of stuff. And once you're done typing, you click here, publish, just to post your blog to the internet. If you don't, if you're not ready, it, let's say you need to work on it more, but you don't have time, you can hit save, and whatever your work has been saved, but it's not posted yet. Once you're done working on it, is when you hit publish. You click preview right here. What that's going to do is allow you to see what your blog is going to look like if someone w around the world on the internet was going to go look at it. You click close right here just to take you back to your dashboard.
So if you have any questions, uh, contact Mr. Wattis through email or Google Hangouts, and he will help you as, as best as he can.